In today's Thursday Thursday video, we are going to revisit the Mai Tai. Welcome to Thursday Thursday. I'm Mark. This is the Average Me Channel. And today we're going to take another run at the Mai Tai. We made a Mai Tai here a few months back, um, well, maybe six or eight months ago, and it was a good Mai Tai. As a matter of fact, I think I labeled that video the perfect Mai Tai. And it really was. It was a really good Mai Tai, but flavors are different. Everybody has a little different palate. And I've been trying some different things, and this Mai Tai that I've been making lately is so easy. I like the simplicity. The ratio is really easy to remember, and the drink is oh so good. And it's absolutely a Mai Tai. You know, Mai Tai is really several different types of rum. It usually has that dark rum floater and uh, a variety of different fruit juices in the Mai Tai. So let's look at what we're going to use in this one. We're going to use a dark rum. This is a new a Navy Bay. I've uh, never really had this one before. You can see a little bit is gone from this bottle because this is what I've been using for my floater. We're going to use a spiced rum. And here's where I took a little twist. We're going to be using coconut rum. And you can see that my Wicked Dolphin is almost coming to an end. We'll have to pick up some more. I'm going to be using grenadine syrup. I'm going to be using this a little differently this time around. And we have a really good mix of juices here. Orange, peach, mango juice. And that's what we're going to be using. If you want to use a fruit garnish, and I'm not using one this time around, if you're using this juice, an orange would be a really good thing to garnish this with. Orange and uh, uh, cherry, maraschino cherry. I almost said strawberry. And we're not going to be doing that. We'll just be using a umbrella this time around. I think umbrellas always look real tiki and real tropical. So let's get started. So we start with our shaker. We have some ice in it. And this is why this is so easy. The ratios are all the same. We're going to start with one jigger of the uh, spiced rum. A little tongue tied. One jigger of the coconut rum. Now this jigger is roughly, oh I'd say an ounce and a half maybe. Standard jigger. I don't know what happened if we went out of focus there. So if I did, I'm going to recap. Uh, we used one jigger of the spiced rum. We used one jigger of coconut rum. This is what's a little bit different than what I've been doing with my Mai Tais. And I really like it. I really like getting that coconut flavor in there. And then we used three jiggers of our orange peach mango juice. And finally, we're going to use our grenadine syrup. Now usually what I like to do is put the grenadine in at the end and what happens, it sinks to the bottom and it gives a real nice layered look because you have the red of the grenadine at the bottom and then you have the Mai Tai, uh, kind of the golden orangish color of the Mai Tai and then you have the floater on top. But what I've been doing lately is putting a little bit, maybe um, a teaspoon, maybe a little more, enough to get a little sweetness in there. I just give it a good squirt of grenadine. And I've been pretty happy with that. Give it a good shake. Now it is going to look a little redder because that grenadine is mixed inside it. So that's really, um, that's really a difference and it's up to you. If you like to have that layered look, then you might not want to do it that way, but you can see we get um, a deeper color for our Mai Tai. Now what we're going to do is add our floater. 
And there's a couple of things that you can do to make sure that the floater stays on top and it doesn't mix in. One is to have enough ice in there that there's a little barrier of ice. And the other is to pour this on the back of the spoon and then it's going to separate. Oops, it's, it's getting out over the edge. Okay. And you can see what happens here. You get that good separation of the floater from the rest of the cocktail. And I'll tell you, this makes for a really good Mai Tai. So all we have to do is top it off with our umbrella and our straw. And who wouldn't want to enjoy that on a warm Florida afternoon? Well, it's getting to be dusk here, but oh, that is so good. You are really going to like this. You get the fruitiness, and even though there's three different ty uh, types of rum in here, it doesn't taste overpowering. It's a very, very pleasant taste to this. Mm. You're going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy this one. And I hope we see you back here for another Thirsty Thursday. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark, and this is the Average Me Channel.